And you black people, stop getting this Chris Brown bullshit twisted. And this is not a joke. Stop getting it twisted. That girl beat the shit out that boy. She damn near killed him. He's lucky to be alive. Them girls from the islands, they're cute, but they're violent and they're jealous. To beat the shit out that boy, she almost killed him. That's why that boy bit her. He was scared. You bite when you're scared. Mike Tyson, scared. He bit. Somebody whooping your ass, you'll bite. That's what you do when you're scared. Bite this motherfucker. You bite when you're scared. You don't beat no woman's ass. That's after kill. Beat up and then a nine will bite you. No. You bite when you're getting your ass whooped. That's when you bite. When you're scared. The girl damn near killed that boy. Lucky to be alive. He's lucky to be here. They're lucky she didn't use that umbrella. You know that bitch got an umbrella. He'd be singing with Stevie Wonder now. She'd have put his eyes out. She tried to kill him. She called her girlfriend up. She called Naomi up. She called her. Get over here, Naomi. Bring his cell phone. We're whooping some ass tonight. Hurry up. It's a party. Hurry up, baby. Naomi said, I'm busy. I can't come. I'm busy. I'm whooping the sofa's ass. I can't come. She said, I'm busy. I can't come. I'm busy shining up my blood diamond. <laughs> she damn near killed him. Listen to her new song. Listen to her lyrics. Listen to it. She tells on herself, I had everything till I had to beat your ass. Listen to his lyrics. He tells. He tells. The boy got brain damage. Listen to him. He thinks he's a transformer. And she's slick. She's shrewd. And the white folks love them little island girls. They're light-skinned, cute. And they have that Eartha Kitt shit going. They have an accent. You don't I have no idea. They love them, but they some shrewd bitches. She got a big, big forehead. You see the forehead. And she was forehead beating him. She said, hey, hey, hey. It don't leave scars. Ha, ha. It's a damn shame. Well, black folks, stop getting it confused. That girl got in the ring with Muhammad Ali's daughter. She beat her ass. Now, let's talk about the embarrassment. The embarrassment. Tagger Wood. Embarrassing. He has embarrassed every black man on the planet. He has no game, no pimp game, no street game, no black man game. He is such a little punk. That's a crybaby. Man up, man up. Such a little white boy. You sucking, I'm the only one in you. Get the fuck up out of here with that bullshit. Cobber collasian. He know what he is now. Them Asians hurry up and gave him back to us. His daddy must be turning over in his grave. His daddy was black. His daddy married a black woman before he met that Filipino woman. Tiger Wood got black brothers and sisters don't even talk about. Keep this shit real. Man up. You see the press conference? Family and friends. And he's the only black thing standing there. Embarrassing. A little punk. He sound like that old singer, that old, I'm sorry, Brenda Lee. Sound like that old bitch. <laughs> so sorry, I apologize, cause I didn't know. Little sissy. All them white women that he fucked, they should get some dildos and fuck him. He's a little punk. 
man up. Kissing that ass. You see him kissing that white man's ass? At the press conference. Just kiss. Boy, you got billions and trillions of dollars. You have to kiss nobody's ass. You got money. Man up. Man the fuck up. Give me a billion dollars and press conference me tomorrow morning. Yeah, them white women suck my dick and you can suck my dick too. Fuck you. End of press conference. Them white folks will shut that shit down like rats ran in the room. wrong he did was screwing all them white women he left them alive <laughs> all that money he could get off on murder he could get off a dream team a dream team I could hear the dream team now if the rubber don't fit you must have quit Now they got him in a sex rehabilitation hospital. What the fuck does that mean? They're gonna cure him? Well, they better get rid of them white nurses cause he'll fuck them. If they wanna cure him, they better hire some black nurses. Better hire some black nurses. Cause he says he only fucks black women the month of February and Juneteenth. <laughs> but he married Becky. He married Becky. He married Becky. <laughs> Becky, nanny, model, slash, ho. The bitch was a ho. <laughs> Hoes like hoes. That's why I got busted. You can't trick a hoe. A hoe can't trick another hoe. Bring your bitch ass home, hoe. I know what you up to. Bring your ass home. He pissed Becky off. Becky is getting 750 million, okay? More money than ever, ever. If your black ass would have been married to Elvis and asked for that kind of money, then white folks would have arrested you. Arrest that bitch. Put her and her kids in jail. The bitch is trying to steal from Elvis. Get the bitch seven dollars and fifty cents. Get that bitch out of here. <laughs> Some food stamps to the bus pass. Give it to her. <laughs> bitch ain't getting no seven hundred and fifty million. Is this bitch on drugs? <laughs> Becky's getting seven hundred and fifty million. And if he brings in them whores around, the kids and ain't married to one of them, Becky says she can find him ten million. I can't make this up. She getting palimony, alimony, she getting all that shit, and she finding him. Becky, you don't want to piss Becky off. Cause that boy, let's keep this shit real. Let's not be scared. He got a Becky ass whooping. That white woman whooped his ass. He's running around there hitting them white balls or the golf club. That bitch said, "Give me that club. I'm getting ready to hit some black balls." She, you know, all that shit happened that night. She beat his ass. That white woman beat the black out that boy. That's why I ran in that tree. All was left was the Asian. <laughs> Michael Jackson just had a goddamn birthday, okay? Michael Jackson, and you guys get it out of your head. Look, you tell a lie enough, it becomes the truth. And these white folks was lying on Michael. Michael was not no goddamn pedophile. That's a goddamn lie. But no fucking pedophile. All that shit was about money. That first boy admitted his parents made him tell that lie. He wasn't no pedophile. Now, he was X-Files. <laughs>
Every time I saw him, I went, Scully, Scully! Made that boy take his pants off and look at his penis and all that bullshit. That's what killed that boy. That's what started it. Disgracing that boy like that. It's a damn shame. That was the start of it. That fucking Hollywood. Them bastards. I try to keep up what they say. What they do. And what they try to make. And what they try to make us fucking believe.